Thanks to cartoons like The Jetsons, multiple generations have been raised asking the same question, when do I get a robot made of my own? Myself included, and I have to say, it looks like we're finally making some progress. Back in 1982, the DC-1 and DC-2 or Drink Caddy robots by Android Amusement were touted as the domesticated robots of the future, capable of greeting guests and serving cocktails. The only problem was that these early robots weren't really robots at all, just radio-controlled devices incapable of autonomous actions or decision-making. By 1984, Tommy Toys and Radio Shack were selling RC toys like the Roby and the Omnibot that did little more than their larger counterparts. Just carrying objects on trays and greeting guests via remote control. These early homebots could also be programmed to replay movements on command. But they still weren't capable of navigating on their own. Ten years ago, toys like Furby and Ibo were finally using rudimentary AI, making them capable of responding to their surroundings. And even though these toys were big hits, they left out one crucial detail, the ability to do something useful. Well, other than look cute. In 1999, the Psy from Probotics was announced as the first affordable personal robot for the home or office. Capable of navigating new areas and featuring both wagon and vacuum attachments, the Psy was truly the first robot for the home capable of performing useful tasks on its own. But in 2002, a better vacuuming robot hit the market, iRobot's Roomba. Selling close to 5 million units in the last seven years, the Roomba is easily one of the most recognizable names in practical home robotics. In addition to the popular autonomous floor vac, iRobot has created a number of robots to take care of other household needs, like the Scuba for scrubbing and washing the floor, the Dirt Dog for sweeping up heavier debris on workshop floors, the Vero, an automated pool cleaner, and the Luge for cleaning the gutters. It seems that iRobot has something for nearly every need, except lawn care. For that, you might like the Robomo from Friendly Robotics, the LawnBot built by Kyoto America, or the Husqvarna Auto Mower. So what lies ahead? In August of 2009, Japan's Institute of Physical and Chemical Research unveiled Reba, a robot designed for assisting nurses with the duty of lifting patients that have limited mobility. While the Reba is one step closer to having intelligent autonomy, it still needs human supervision. So let's look further into the development of machines that do have intelligent autonomy. At Intel's research lab at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, researchers are breaking new ground in intelligent autonomy. Rather than acting out scripted behaviors based on simple inputs, Intel researchers and grad students are writing special algorithms called primitives that help the complicated machines function. One primitive may handle the robot's ability to recognize a refrigerator when it sees it. Another may handle the robot's perception of how hard to pull the door without damaging it. While another set of primitives might govern the robot's ability to pick up the item you've asked for without knocking over any other objects. By designing an AI system that consists of many primitives working together, Tomorrow's robots should be capable of effectively figuring out how to perform household tasks other than serving drinks or vacuuming the floors, no matter how disorganized your house may be.